Hi guys, my name is Courtney and welcome to my channel and today I am going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. My parents wanted to paint the room in here and put a new carpet, which means I had to take out all my furniture, all my books, so much work. Now I'm going to be reshelving everything. It's really nice to have like a fresh room. I haven't replaced my furniture since like high school. Obviously I live in an apartment close to my university. You know, I've been in school for the past seven years so I haven't lived really here. So this isn't really my place of residence, but I have these amazing and bookshelves which I have all my books on. I really prize my collection. I've been collecting and reading books since I was very young so it's very important to me. I know it's not important for everybody to have a big bookshelf. For me it's always been something I've really enjoyed so it's just really fun to get to reorganize books because I haven't done that in so long. I've always organized by genre and like age group and alphabetically so it's always been in a very specific order but today I get to do something different. Just play around with like the looks, the aesthetic of different books next to each other. Unfortunately in this move my parents wanted to get rid of a couple shelves, the shelves that went under my bed, which I had a lot of books in, and then I had like an extra thing that like went above my old twin bed, which I had a bunch of books on. All of my shelves previously were stuffed, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Obviously they're not all gonna fit in my room. I'm gonna figure something out because I love my collection, I love having my collection in my room, and so I'm gonna try and reorganize it aesthetically this time. <laughs>
everyone, I'm back and I'm done for the night. I didn't show the whole thing of me putting books on here, mostly because I was just like tinkering, putting things in weird places, but now we are gonna go through the bookshelves and kind of look at what I did. So this is my full bookshelf. I just love how it looks. I love being able to sit on my bed and just kind of look at everything, but let's get a little bit closer or as close as I can get because unfortunately I'm plugged into the wall with this camera. So I just kind of organized Willy Nilly. There is some rhyme and reason. It's not as organized as it used to be. I have some like children's classics. I have my Shakespeare collection as well as some other taller books. I have my leather bounds. I have some nonfiction and memoirs. And then I have some more modern fiction. And then down here I have more of classics, older classics. And then at the top we have some big YA and adult fantasy and sci-fi series. These are series that I personally don't super connect with, so I'm fine putting them at the top where I don't have to look at them. Then we have some adult fantasy, and then after that we have some of my favorite YA fantasy and sci-fi series, and then I snuck in a couple middle grade children's books that I love as well. And then after that we have more adults fantasy and sci-fi and just like weird stuff and stuff that doesn't really fit into particular genres. And then after that we have like tall YA fantasy books and I have a little spot to put in the fourth book for the Ember in the Ashes series there. And then after that we have my Rick Riordan books and we're not gonna talk about the last shelf. And then on top here we have some more middle grade children's fantasy books and and then we are getting into one of my favorite shelves, which is some of my queer lit books or my queer young adult books. I just love how the spines all come together and I love the rainbow. It just, I really like how this shelf turned out. And then we have the rest of my queer reads, stuff that I couldn't fit up there. Yeah, I really, I really like how colorful and fun these two shelves are. The next shelf we have is young adult contemporary. There's some speculative stuff in here too. For the most part, it's just contemporary, more contemporary as well as some sci-fi and then even more young adult fantasy and sci-fi at the bottom. Because I lost so many of my shelves, I just like had so many books that I still needed to stack. So a bunch of my children's series actually got stacked in this little slot right here and I don't really like it because I can't see all the books that I own. I really like to be able to see everything. It makes me really happy just looking back with fondness about a lot of the series I read, especially a lot of these children's series that I read. Elementary school, middle school, high school. And so yeah, there's a lot of series back here behind all of these three stacks that I can't even look at. I have to make do with what I have. And then coming over here, I have one more small shelf and this I kind of had to put miscellaneous stuff. So up here is my TBR shelf. And then here we have two sections with more modern classics or literary fiction stuff. And then behind there you can kind of see I have comics or mangas. I had to stack mangas in every little snook and cranny I could find and so they're kind of like hidden behind other books. And then at the bottom we have some children's classics and we have some other ones hiding in the back again. Over here we have my graphic novel section, more graphic novels, more comic trade editions. I love my graphic novel section so I love stacking them up like this. And then at the bottom we have my mangas. So basically I put the first volume of every series that I have collected up here so I know which series I own. There's some series like Haikyuu and Kamisama Kiss that I just bought the first volume to to kind of commemorate me reading them online or for me having watched the anime series and really loved it. And then some of them is just, you know, I own the whole series but I put the first volume out so that I can appreciate it. And then, so where did I put the rest of my manga? Because, oh no, it did not all fit. <laughs> it's under my bed. So as you can see, I have like the little monster series Series, Silent Voice, Full Metal Alchemist under here, and it, and it goes back. It goes all the way around. So I got all the Skip Beat volumes, and then I somehow was able to get all of the Gawkwin Alice series under there too. <laughs> so yes, uh, <laughs> there is no more space for any more manga, but I'm still going to be buying it, so that's gonna be fun. And as for the rest of my room, it's kind of a disaster. That's fine. I have nothing on the walls. It's empty, <laughs> but at least the bookshelf is gorgeous. So thank you so much for watching. These videos for me are some of the hardest to film. I like looking back on this stuff so I think this was a really fun thing to do and I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. I'll see you guys later and happy reading. Mm -hmm.